Hello everybody, welcome to Compactor Station. This is Richard. Now we're going to learn about transaction processing system. As I said that in any business or in any organization there are several types of information system that are computerized and this transaction processing system is a computerized information system that is used to track of elements elemental activities that are performed in their I mean in their uh, in their activity in their operation of the company. Uh, basically this activity this system are of two types or I can give some more information about this. These are just for processing very very uh, be elemental or basic activities within a company and like maybe or um, processing customer orders, purchasing orders, time card, invoices, see that. So base cards are two types of TPAs or transaction processing system that are batch TPAs and the online TPAs. When I'm saying batch processing, it means we accumulate data and then and then we get, we accumulate data, and then we process them, then we give output. So in the batch processing, we should have accumulated data so that we can we can process them before we give out the output. But when we're talking about online transaction, this one involves processing the data at the time it is being delivered or it's being received. So we, if we input the data in the processor, it, it doesn't wait for a batch. It's just process where I don't see there and said um, a system whereby each transaction is processed immediately without the delay of accumulating transaction into a batch. But in the batch transaction are accumulated over a period of time and prepared for processing as a single unit or batch, right? I think that concept is very clear. Okay, let's go on and talk about uh let's have some more clarification on how batch. So here we we data entry of accumulated transactions so we accumulate them and then we come to process them as a batch and then we give out the output. This is for batch this is Mat. And also we we have the diagram for online transaction that each terminal here provides transaction and they are immediately processed and the output is given out. Okay, you know in this session today we are going to learn about different types of TPAs because uh, the whole concept of TPAs is well known because we talked it we talked we talked about it earlier the objective of TPAs we knew that just it's basically provide or it's, be, it's basically act as a foundation for other system other types of system like MIS or DD, DSS or EAS and also it's enhance or improve or increase services to the customer and helps in the build and maintain customer loyalty because it helps in conducting those daily activities so basically to produce customer loyalty so all these objectives i think are the same as we started in the previous lecture here basically we should understand the types different types of TPS, there are a lot of a lot of TPS systems, and we have to understand one by one. Um, this call before we go to see the types of TPS, we should I know I mean the examples of TPS. We should know that the uh, the common activities that are used to process data within the TPS. The first thing is we should have data collection. So before we start to process it we correct that then we add them we correct then we manipulate we store that then we, pro do, we do production of documents so these are the very basic processes of tp or tps so if you ask me what are the common or yeah we say common for such important activity so we have that collection that editing that correct that correction data manipulation, that storage, document production. That's very important to understand. Also now we can, as I said, the very, very important thing here, we should understand the different types or different examples of 
I mean different examples of TPS, you see. Um, basically here we are going to talk on, on point cell system. This deals with source data automation. When we are saying source data automation, this it means that we process data from the source that is, I mean we capture data. We capture data at its source with minimal manual effort. It means that we enter directly into the computer so as we can process them. But here, when we are talking about data automation, we are starting to talk about point of sale transaction processing system. Then it means that point of sale transaction. These are the systems that are used in doing sales at the same point. So we 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 make a they will be point of sale transaction systems. These are the TPAs. So these are the example of TPAs which are used to control sales during during selling processes. Um, also we come to see some examples of traditional TPAs like order and processing system. Now uh, we have order processing system that's Processing order from enter to delivery, and also these are these are just uh, we have also we have this is very important to understand, but also we have we have this order proof order order see the very very important features we have a lot of them we have. Shipment planning, shipment execution. Um, now we have a lot of systems that are TP, I mean TPAs that you have to understand. So here you see the shipping planning. This shows how the so determine the open orders that will be filled and uh, which location they will be delivered or shipped and we have shipped execution that shipped execution will be dealing with uh will be dealing with uh outflow for products of growth from organization with objective so so talking about inventor control this uh, i used to update the stock that is available and just to 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 keep on records of the inventors that are there. Also we we have invoicing generate customer invoice based on the call received from the shipment execution TPS. This is the first thing just our documents on the shipment execution from the TPS customer interaction that monitor and track each customer interaction with the company. So it means that if we have a company when uh, we do customer do interaction with our system, so this is a system that is there to help us to understand how the customer is interacting with our system. Then we have some system called routing and scheduling. This system are uh, basically used to see the best way the photos are uh, for 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 transporting our goods or our products and which time shall we pro shall we transport the goods so routing is the best way and scheduling is the best time for us to deliver goods and services as you see right there so basically here you just you just see uh purchasing system vendor control is this is a red series Purchase orders, the type of chasing department complete transaction. Okay, so I won't give much explanation about these systems, but you have to understand the best on how these systems work. And let, maybe I can talk a little, a little bit more about accounting system. Accounting system consists of systems, budget system, account, account receivable, account payable, payroll, as asset management. Generate. So when we're talking about budget system, this this budget system will show us uh, the capital that we use for say the system that shows how is kept uh, the the available capital that is been there. And also we have accountable see account received uh, receivable 
is manage cash flow of the company by keeping track of money that the, the, the company gets or receives. It's easy like that. Account receivable are uh, in report to so financial payroll, just check the stuff and step with the different end of the year task covers. No, some of the things are not such a but you have to understand the whole system. You say we we can talk a little bit more about conceivable in the let's say account. These are things you should understand. Account payable. This is a system that check what's what's all the money that the company is or is supposed to pay some but somewhere else. And this payroll is mind how the payroll basically lives with how to pay the same to use this is a system but asset management this is the system that is used to manage the assets, the available resources that are used to produce good in the company that are used in daily activities for producing or manufacturing of production. When we're talking about gender, a general ledger, this is a system that help us, help the organization to 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 record all transaction details that have been done within an organization. Basically, TPS are such kind of like that. So you have to a little bit more understand about all of these TPS, routines, KR, routines, scheduling, and uh, Custom interaction, invoicing. We have important inventory control that updates the computerized inventory record to affect the exact quantity of hand of each stock keeping unit. I can see that. So you should should understand the meaning or the function of each system so as you can be very very understood about right. This execution just controls the outflow of all products and goods from the organization and it's objective to re delivering the products on the time to customers. So thank you very much. This is Richard. Hope the session is very clear. Thank you. Bye bye.